How do we respond to the difficult commands in the Bible? Every now and then we hear of something that the Bible tells us to do or not to do and we go, well, that can't be right. Especially in today's culture where the only thing that matters is how we feel, it can be difficult to agree with things that God has revealed in his word. And so many times we come to the conclusion that maybe it doesn't apply to us today. Or maybe I don't need to do what this particular passage says. Or that the Bible is an outdated book. But the thing is that many of us want the things that come with following Jesus. Answered prayers, friendships in church, blessings of all kinds. And we enjoy good gifts from God when we get them. And yet we want to avoid things in the world that seem difficult to us. Because they may be just too hard to obey. When we do this, what we're basically saying to Jesus is... I want to be in your kingdom, but I don't want you as king. We don't get to do that though. The kingdom of God is what it is because of who sits on the throne. We do not get the kingdom without the king. Many of us are very happy with Jesus saving us and believing we've got our free ticket to heaven. But you and I cannot have Jesus as our savior without having him as our king. You and I cannot have Jesus as a friend without serving him as Lord.